Hi everyone, welcome to CES in Las Vegas. I know that not every one of you can be there with us uh, to visit uh, which demos we have lined up uh, for you also this year to show you the capabilities of NXP and how we change the world that anticipates and automates for you. But uh, no worries, I'm going to take you on a quick booth tour and going to introduce you to the great exhibitions that we have lined up here. And if we start right outside of our great booth, outside of our tent, what you're going to see is you're going to see already here the Ford F-150 Lightning fantastic e-vehicle, uh, the newest uh, Ford F-150 version with a lot of our electronics in. So the smart connected gateway, uh, the e-cockpit, all NXP powered electronics and in front of the vehicle, what you're going to see is the wall box charger. This charger is also NXP enabled and of course uh, needed uh, for the car right behind it. So these are two end customer devices that I'm very much looking forward to have them close to me uh, in the coming years. So really great stuff. Let us now move into the tent. I'm going to show you what we have lined up there uh, in more detail. And of course, what you're going to see is this year's exhibition again is focused on the smart connected world, the uh, edge experience of NXP. So smart efficiency, safe uh, mobility. And what you also see there is secure interoperability. So making the world a seamless experience for all of you. Now, first thing is looking at smart efficiency. This is the first uh, uh, table that you're going to see here with all our demos on. And you see a lot of plants already there and electronics. So what you're going to see there on the left, you see a plant electronics in front of it. And you see this little uh, transparent tube uh, also there on the on the desk. The electronics is not battery or power supply powered. This electronics is plant powered. We are energy harvesting out of the plant. You see there the electrons, uh, electrodes, and we take the energy to operate uh, transmission electronics. So on the one side, you see it here, a thread or meta uh, uh, driven uh, uh, sensing uh, and transmission device. You have Sigfox uh, devices and LTE um, uh, sensors there. Uh, in front in this tube, we have soil and uh, plant material to harvest energy. And then what you're also gonna see is on the screen uh, here behind on the demo, you can have the different versions. Um, um, uh, you're gonna see in a, in a couple of seconds, the different versions of data that are transmitted. So be it moisture level, uh, be it light um, uh, uh, in your in your greenhouse, be it temperatures. Um, uh, there you can you can see it. Uh, and basically, with all of that, you're gonna see how we can from the farmhouse directly measure what is happening on the farm. Now, if you follow me, turn around here. Uh, energy efficiency is of course not only energy harvesting, but it's also how we work with lowest power, how we operate our devices with lowest possible power while giving full user experience. Here you see it, it's our IDOTM X RT microcontroller crossover uh, microcontroller family that is operating here um, a, um, a circular uh, display. You see it there like what is needed for a smartwatch. Um, with this development kit, of course, the smartwatch makers can work, can bring up their HMIs, but also you see it here, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, cool Ray-Ban uh, connected uh, glasses. Um, uh, you see uh, there the, uh, the um, a different uh, a Garmin and a Mesfit uh, uh, a smartwatches and also the Amazon Echo earbuds. So all of these devices, of course, need to have a perfect HMI, perfect software development uh, toolkit, but need to live as long as possible on coin cell type of batteries. And this is what we're going to show you here uh, on this, uh, this booth. Uh, so please come play with our electronics here uh, for your smart portable devices. Um, if we just move from there to the next uh, demo kit, um, uh, that is of course also one that is very, very close to my heart. Um, it is about optical inspection, failure detection. And what you see here is this is failure detection in our own wafer factories. Um, we use our Idodemics 8M plus uh, microcontrollers um, with AI accelerators. We have Basler industrial cameras uh, that we connect. And with this kit, we have a learning optical inspection tool. And for example, if you take a picture here of a, of a wafer, you just paint a defect on top of that wafer, bring it underneath the inspection gear. Then what you're going to see is 
this de uh, device is detecting, now in a learning way, is detecting that there are artifacts on the wafer. And um, uh, there you can see it um, very clearly. On the left side, you have the black um, uh, defects. On the right side, you see what has been detected in red. And having all of that, you have a perfect selection tool saying this chip is okay, that chip has defects, so please sort the defective ones out. Now, if you follow me round the corner, just to the next demo kit here, this is all about smart connectivity. And just to explain it to you a little bit, of course, there is a huge market of smart home devices, smart home connectivity. You see here the different fans, light bulbs, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the window uh, and door detectors here with magnetic uh, uh, switches. And all of them should work together in a smart connected house. Now, today they don't because every device maker has a different set of protocol. They talk to the, uh, the uh, uh, devices, to the gateways of that one device maker, but they cannot cross talk. And this is limiting the market. So if device maker A cannot talk to the gateways of device maker B, we have an issue. Now, basically uh, what we do here is we are pushing the meta standard. Meta is an uh, application layer where you can see how um, different devices can find the common language, talk to each other. And what you're going to see here is pressing one switch of, um, uh, of uh, manufacturer A, switches on the socket for the fans, uh, switches on the light, and all of this is completely NXP silicon powered. You see our gateways, you see our switching electronics, you see our software development kits, uh, be it uh, i.mx uh, based, uh, be it S32 um, uh, uh, or, or uh, K32 uh, based. All of these devices are complete NXP silicon and this is, of course, one of the innovations that makes your world at home barrier-free, seamless, and easy to handle. The smart home of the future is a plug-and-play smart home, and you can bring any device and operate it seamlessly. And now, of course, one of the things that is very close to my heart, what would be a CES exhibition without our automotive demos? So 50% of the company are automotive electronics, and I'm going to show you around this car kit here uh, all our coolest innovations that we are bringing in at the moment. So what you see in here is our in-vehicle um, uh, dashboards, our instrument cluster to the left uh, with all the speed indicators and so on. To the right, you have the center stack or uh, passenger displays uh, that you're going to see. Uh, all of them, they are operated by i.mx uh, um, uh, uh, quad max uh, devices, i.mx 8s, um, the biggest devices that we have uh, at the start here. Uh, those devices are operating one, the instrument cluster, one, the uh, center stack. Um, in future, what you're going to see is we are working on the iDynamix 9 generation, devices that are twice as powerful and cheaper than what we have at the start here. They are containing functional safety islands, ASIL-B capabilities, and highest security and AI accelerators so that you can really build uh, great uh, uh, graphics here as well trying to decomplexify the, the HMI for the, uh, for the user. And you see it, for example, there you see the tire pressure uh, of the vehicle in a very nice, iconic uh, uh, diagram uh, that is not that, uh, that complicated. Now, looking from there, from the display electronics to the passengers, you see that little baby here in the uh, kitty seat uh, next to me. And why do we show you that? Well, very simply because our detection electronics is fantastic for certain passenger detection use cases. We use ultra wideband and you know that for car access or for mobile phone uh, range detection, mobile phone to a door uh, or something like this, the same ultra wideband technology we can also use as a radar uh, um, uh, signal generator and we can measure in the cabin via, uh, via an ultra wideband uh, detector that is in the dashboard, for example, the chest of a human being of that baby uh, moving while it's breathing. So what you see here is you see the breathing uh, movement of the chest of the baby and you see this, uh, this signal uh, on the, on the uh, passenger seat. There is some living object, you see the data and we can of course then react. Occupancy detection, are the airbags uh, switched off if there is a kid uh, with, a, with a children's seat on the, uh, on the um, uh, passenger seat and so on and so on. 
before we lock the car are all living uh, 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 beings uh, out of the out of the vehicle all of that what we can do so ultra cool in cabin activities now beyond that there is of course under the hood a lot of high-end computational electronics and what you see here on the next side that is one of our high performance reference designs the blue box reference design that you might have heard of and together with our partner continental we worked on that blue box reference design we built the high performance compute unit for conti as a reference design for them and here you see how that is looking like a lot of high performance nxp silicon is on that device so be it uh, the lx um, microprocessors 16 core machines um, uh, really advanced uh, processing. You have the S32 family on there for functional safety, the S32V for um, um, vision uh, and, and ASLD capabilities, the S32G as a gateway um, uh, microprocessor, uh, also ASLD capable, and you see the power management ICs for the smart power management uh, electronics. So a complete reference design, reference unit that now the tier ones and car OEMs directly can work with. And this device has brothers and sisters and you're going to see them here you see the green box and a golden box next to what i prior called a blue box and this green box is basically equipped with our s32s real-time um, uh, microprocessors real-time capable microprocessors for uh, powertrain uh, and propulsion um, uh, applications so in other words what these devices are doing is uh, they are enabling the powertrain of an electric vehicle or of a combustion uh, car. They are connected to um, the gold box. This gold box is the gateway unit. And this gateway unit is then basically safely um, and securely connected to the cloud. Um, together with uh, our partner uh, uh, AWS, so Amazon Web Services, we can then extract data from the really uh, uh, deep, deep uh, buried levels in the vehicle, powertrain level, to the gateway, and in a very secure way, we can transport that data into the cloud or other direction, of course. Uh, and with ICAS, um, uh, our partner, we can then generate in the cloud, in the AWS cloud, a digital twin of the hard, uh, hard, uh, hardware in the vehicle. And with that, of course, you can start managing remotely as a car OEM, maybe as an end user, the digital twin of your vehicle in the cloud. Very, very uh, um, uh, sexy uh, stuff for smart connected devices. Now, last topic, uh, but equally uh, uh, exciting uh, is what you had already seen potentially in the press releases, our 4D imaging radar demo. So 4D, what does that mean? Four dimensional, well, spatial recognition, of course, and velocity recognition, so some timing components in there, um, uh, speed components. And this imaging radar demo we have here, and you can see uh, what that is doing. So uh, in a driving uh, environment, you can very nicely, very precisely detect not only a big block of steel in front of you, but different objects, high resolution, several cars, entrance of a tunnel, uh, a car you can distinguish from a truck or from a, from a, a, a bicycle. Um, so. Uh, all of that super, super advanced, high resolution electronics and how that is built. I'm going to show you here. So first, uh, that's looking already very, very complicated. We have a big antenna array, a lot of send and receive antennas. And you see here already four big blocks, uh, antenna blocks. And this is because these antennas are driven by four of our radar uh, transceivers, uh, CMOS uh, uh, designed radar transceivers. You see them here, these uh, four black squares um, uh, on, the, uh, on the PCB. And they are then steering the send and receive antennas. And all of that is of course administered and orchestrated by this silver square that you have here on the PCB. And that silver square is our newest 16 nanometer S32 radar microcontroller. So you see, we have a couple of family, mem uh, family members the gateways S32G, the S32S for the powertrain, here now the S32R for radar. And this is 
the flagship device, of course, that can compute then all the data that is coming from the various transceivers, from the beam forming, uh, do the learning of uh, what the signals um, uh, generate that come back. And with that, uh, and with our partners here, uh, CubeTech, uh, you can see at our booth uh, this, uh, this new design of the imaging radar sensors that uh, you, can, you can use in the field already today. So super, super uh, exciting, super advanced. And now let me quickly uh, uh, branch out uh, from our ultra wideband story that we had in the beginning here also to our trimension portfolio what you're seeing here is basically a consumer electronics ultra wideband device that we are also bringing to the market in this reference kit and this can be used to talk to your mobile phones in your pocket for example if you link it to a door lock to a smart door lock uh, just as a use case you can do the exact ranging between your mobile phone uh, and the door lock and only if you're close by then of course the door will open you can do indoor positioning all of these type of topics Super exciting. We have it here in our labs. I've tested it a lot and um, uh, that's, that's really the stuff that uh, I love playing with and where our engineers are, are truly upbeat to drive us to the next level of, of applications and innovations. Um, so from there, um, of course, uh, what we, what we uh, could not do last year is we could not show you uh, a lot of these use cases because CES uh, last year did not happen. What we have done instead is we have converted all our demos into a web-based tool, uh, the so-called so NXP showroom. You have 50 use cases in that showroom where you can start playing with the different use cases from the different market verticals, different um, uh, architectures, different setups, and you can, can start playing, learning yourself how to build smart connected devices in a safe and secure way. So please join us, uh, play with our showroom.nxp.com. Um, uh, work with our development kits, our reference designs, and I'm of course more than happy to join you uh, in the Edge experience. Please don't hesitate contacting us, um, play with our uh, reference kits, and uh, yeah, I'm looking very much forward to seeing you soon, to talking to you, and um, uh, to learn about your innovations based on our electronics. Thanks a lot, and looking forward to talking soon.